Oh, no, okay. yeah. the earlier ones maybe, no. and then oh, okay. sorry. Just go ahead. Okay, so we were talking. We were spe say of the parachutes. Now I was asking you about the um, material, the fabric. Yeah. And I thought that there was something called parachute silk. Maybe the earliest ones, maybe from the First World War, were made of silk. But by by the time of the Second World War, nylon had been invented, although it was not yet a wide article of commerce, and but it was very strong and could be made synthetically. So um, maybe, you know, the, the, so, so I think the parachutes as time went forward were made of nylon, um, but I don't know that for sure. And I wondered if you had any sense of, they would have felt maybe, they would have felt yeah, the well, same, I don't know. Uh, possibly, because yeah. the machines that I used yeah. for sewing, which I was introduced myself for the first time. Uh -huh. I never had that kind of machines, you okay. know. Okay. Uh, they were huge, very yeah. strong. Yeah. Um, don't put your fingers there. You no. to get <laughs> you'll be. <laughs> yeah. You'll get spots on the parachute. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Right, no. Right, right. But the the uh, equipment was very strong. Yeah. So I imagine. Could have been the, yeah, the nylon it, then, because the silk would have been a little more fragile. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm making this. I really am no, just no. speculating here. I was thinking the other way around. I was thinking oh. the, uh, the the fabric that they were using, yeah. it must have been 150% nylon because it was thick. Yeah, yeah, sturdy. You know, yeah. And it makes sense because it's, it's got to hold a lot it's of It's going to yeah, hold a lot right yeah. there. Yeah. And so then you would do your stitching, and then it would move along to somebody who did added something, something else. Something else, yeah. And yeah. you know that's sort of the history of Detroit and yeah, the assembly yeah, line yeah, method yeah. Of, of manufacturing. Yeah, so that right. may have been an issue, an element in doing it. And then was it completely at the end of this whatever process was? Was it then ready to be folded, packed, and then? I have no idea how that. Well, took goodness place. sakes, <laughs> <laughs> because we were. So so many people oh, yeah. there, mm -hmm. and they were not just making half a dozen of these or half a dozen no. of that. They were big I'm, quantities. Oh, every airman had oh, to have Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I never saw, be honest with you, I never saw a parachute completed. Oh, <laughs> go to the movies. <laughs> yeah, that's what I saw them, yeah, <laughs> yeah right, coming right. down. Yeah, you know. yeah, into the trees, you yeah, know, snag, I know, in the dark, yeah. you know, that type of thing. But, of course, they, they yeah. permitted Many uh, military operations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was good that we had it, them. It was production. Yeah, That's yeah. That's I was in it. But now, when you say at the end of the war and suddenly uh, no work, did everybody just, I don't mean hit the streets, but just go looking for other kinds of work? Well, what did you, what uh, did you do next? The, <laughs> to be honest with you, I think in those days were a better time to find jobs yeah, because yeah. people were more humble. Yes. Or what they it's needed, nice and they yeah. take a, a job, any yeah. kind of job. Sure. Just mm -hmm. as long as they get a little bit of money coming in. Mm -hmm. We didn't have what we call it now, welfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can look. Oh, I know you also started to mention, then I interrupted you, I guess, about going into a clothing store oh, after yeah, the war. Yeah. And then, you know, today there's so many choices. Oh, there's so much cloth nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, when do people wear them all? <laughs> and then I, I always keep asking myself a question, what do they do with these clothes yeah. when they don't sell? Oh, yes, yes. Where do they go? I wonder, I wonder, is there a cemetery, a graveyard for all? I, I really, that's a good question. Yeah. You know, if they're not, at the end of a season, where do they ship them? Yeah, yeah. And they're still new with tags. Yeah. And, yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe, no, some maybe there are charities we don't know about. See, I think, uh, uh, I myself feel that the word progress yeah. was taken away from the vocabulary. Yeah. Now it's technology. Okay. Sure enough. And technology to me is delete or throw away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The disposable economy. <sighs> the disposable and, right. And no wonder everything's so expensive nowadays. Because yeah. it has to cover the cost yes. of the unsold merchandise. Yes. And they, had, thinking. Yeah, they had to thinking. do it all over again, you know, yeah, and yeah. and that goes for everything. Oh yes, everything. Uh, Built-in obsolescence. Oh, it's called. Yeah, yeah. It's sad. It, it is. Really it sad. Is, it is know. a waste. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, from from Detroit and the parachutes, where did you land next? Land with your parachute. <laughs> you know? no, that, no, from uh, then I, I went to Florida. Okay. You know, and uh, 
And oh, again, is that where you learned to roller skate? Is that, was, was that in Florida, the skating episode of your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that, that was my second stop in Florida. Oh, your second stop. Okay. okay. So I came from Central America. I came to Miami. Yeah. Oh, and, and then, then went on. Sure. Yeah. Now you're back. I, I'm back now with my family mm -hmm. that moved. And uh, sewing, too, because I love to sew. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Sewing yeah. is poor wear. Mm -hmm. And that was production, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and... Forget it. The first yeah. uh, couple of weeks, I wasn't making anything, oh, you know. Yeah. But then I did, I did well. Yeah. And from then I went to Miami Beach to sew for more exclusive, exclusive mm -hmm. uh, brands. Brands, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, huh. But then after that, I went to Catalina Island. Yeah. So as far as jobs is concerned, I never felt that I could not work. Couldn't get a job, yeah, or make a living. I always work. I always mm -hmm. found mm -hmm. it was sewing or later on in my professional bookkeeper. Yes, you know. yes. So that was not a problem. Or that, that was, was not no an problem, issue, as yeah. they say. Today's the world is an issue. The problem was uh, getting this thing to one. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that easy. Yeah. You yeah. had to have a ticket to present, you know. And mm -hmm. if you not, if it was not qu the quantity listed in the book, mm -hmm. you couldn't have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether you had the money or not. No, no, that no, was very that was yeah, that. yeah. Although we were, I think America was one of the first places in the world to go off that kind of system, wasn't it? Are you talking about rationing or coupon? The coupon rationing, books? Yeah. yeah. Because Britain, they were using coupons until the fifties, and they were quite bitter about it because they thought they won the war, and yet everywhere else was off, you know, no no more rationing, but they were still using coupons for things. Well, so. the, the ration in this country, mm -hmm. and by the way, yeah. <laughs> you just said something that I cannot let it go without yeah. correcting. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Tell me. I'm, yeah. I guess, okay, you said America. Oh, okay. America. We're talking yes. about the United States. United States. You're right. You're right. Okay. And Mea culpa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because yeah, you're American in that regard. Yeah. Absolutely. When yeah. I first came, they used to ask me, how do you like America? Yeah. Huh. I come from, from where America. where to where? Yeah, from Central top America. Central. Right, exactly. America yeah. is a continent from yeah. Canada. Canada to Argentina. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Geography lesson 101. But, uh, it is a, yeah. everywhere you hear it. It's yeah. the same thing. What happened is the youngers, the younger people, mm -hmm. They get away from geography. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, they don't teach in school. You don't get, no, you're right. I yeah. can remember third to fourth grade. That by the fourth grade, it was called social studies. We didn't have, remember it was not it was not geography per yeah. se. That was my my yeah. year was the last year of <laughs> geography. So and, yeah, it's true. And when I came, it was with the idea of going to college oh, yeah, in yeah. Detroit, and they didn't accept me in in Detroit because I didn't know uh, enough English. English. Oh, yeah. But later on, I said, wait a minute. They don't even know where America is. <laughs> How can I go to college when I seem to know better than they do? Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, what's, what's, so, uh, what's this all about? Of course, that was not the reason I didn't continue with that thought because I got married. Yeah. That's a detour in my life. Yes, as a detour. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, I was happy. Sure. So, you know, yeah. life kept moving yeah. along. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. But eventually then it brought you to Cape Cod. Oh, yeah. 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 With my two daughters. Nice, nice. And him. And so, yeah. and then we, uh, we established ourselves mm -hmm. in, in East Howard. Yeah. And we purchased the Howard Laundry. Yeah. Yeah. And so plug. we had it since then. Imagine. Yeah. In 1956. Yeah. And so you know how things build. One thing, part of your life, oh, yeah. builds on the next, builds on the oh, next, yeah. and it grows. Yeah. It grows yeah. along. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful life. It, it really it is. is. I'm yeah. so glad to hear you say that because yeah. I hope I wish life. more people felt you know, I know. Were verbalized it. Oh or yeah. Focused I, I on mean, it. I'm so grateful for so much. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, that's good. That's, and that's a happy. I thought. keep thinking it must be a reason why I'm still here. Well. 
Yes, you know? to tell everybody else That's about it. Right. That's right. That's what right. it is, to Absolutely. tell the world. Yes, yeah. yes. People see, need to be reminded yeah. of how good our lives and are, can every be. Every year that I, I gain in my yeah. life yeah, is a, ooh. <laughs> yeah, learn something new. <laughs> yes, yes, and keep yeah. going, right. Yeah, right. I know it. Yeah. So when you first came to Harwich, or the East, East Harwich in the Cape, how did it strike you uh, compared to the many urban and sophisticated places you had lived already? Terrible. <laughs> Yeah, everybody hear that? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, Go. yeah. When, when well, he what, brought what me it? to the Cape, I cried <laughs> oh. because I had seen all the places. Yes, you know, yes, the and, big uh, world. And I always, the only can, thing I can say was it's a lot of sand, yeah, a lot sand. of pine trees. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and, and that was it. That was it. No <laughs> traffic, you know, it was no very traffic. little, you know. Yeah. But. Oh. I, I spoke too soon. Yeah, oh, that's sweet. See, now there's, that's why you're still here. Yeah, you spoke too soon. Yeah, I spoke soon. too soon because not soon after that, I saw where all these people coming from. Oh, yes, the tourists. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we needed them. Of course. For you the, know, for the, for but the they come like, a, like it was a free country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tickets, tickets at the bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on in, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But... What can you do? Yeah, Take I, it. I, uh, see, that's a new impression we have of Harwich, <laughs> that yeah. and that you cried. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I cried because. Uh, Although you know, I knew somebody too who had from the New York who went out to the Middle West through a, a job connection, drove out with two kids in the back of the car, and the, the husband had already bought a little house for them. And when he pulled up to show her the little house and the, two, she cried. <laughs> she was from yeah. New York. Oh, yeah. and she wasn't yeah. going to be happy with. Well, she was eventually, but yeah. she had she hadn't expected more. She hadn't um, didn't have her hopes raised, but what she saw <laughs> did yeah. not make her happy the first you know, time. I around. think that's that's the beauty of being able to travel a little bit. Yes, yes. Because uh, uh, if you really want to know how to tra to travel, yeah, don't take with you what you have and go and compare. Right, right, that's right. Not, that, that that's work. not travel, no. no. That, that doesn't work. Because yeah. uh, I know, uh, even today, mm -hmm. I hear people thinking that Central America and South America is the second class yeah, population. Yeah, we won't mention any political candidates at all, <laughs> but, but somebody's got their foot in hot water there on that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's right. It's so right. sad. Yeah, it really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's lack of appreciation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to me. Of the bigger world. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, anyway. but, it, but, but, so you've, <laughs> if anybody's listening or watching that thought it was terrible also, listen to Aura who says it got, it, the picture changed over oh, time. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know how You get used to things. You oh, know, you, you get you, used to. Mm -hmm. You know that old saying, you had to get sin in your shoes? Yes, it gets well, in the, your mine shoes. are full of it, <laughs> and heavy. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, but, I but can't that's move. Good. You can't move, <laughs> and you can't move. Isn't that a wonderful <laughs> ending to the yeah. thought? Yeah. Very nice, yeah. a very yeah. nice ending. Oh, uh huh. So, um, all that. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just keep going. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, another thing I will go uh, mention was uh, entertainment. Yes. You know, uh, there wasn't too much money to mm -hmm. go out to entertain yourself. So we didn't have TV. Oh yeah, true. You know, we had radio, and most of the radio was used to let us know what was going on in the world. Yeah, not local. So huh? a few, a few uh, singers came into the picture in those days mm -hmm. before they became movie stars. Oh, You yes. know, but the entertaining, uh, the population with nice songs, and mm -hmm. and we needed that. We yeah. needed a peaceful yeah. feeling. A happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the movies, in general, were only playing on weekends. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. That's very only limiting. Weekends. Yeah. And only in, not everywhere. In yeah, the big cities, they will have it yeah, going. Yeah, continuous show, as yeah. we call it. But yeah. in small places, only on weekends, even on the Cape. Imagine. When I came to the Cape, only on weekends. Oh, I had no idea. It was idea. A, 
There was the theater in Hyannis. Yeah. Only on weekends. The one in Howard's Board. Mm -hmm. Only on weekends. Oh, my heavenly. Yeah. Oh, I would have died. <laughs> yeah. I liked going to the movies. Yeah. I mean, and there was during those years. It's simple know. entertainment, but yeah. yeah. But it's nice. Nice to have it. They couldn't. They couldn't afford it because there were not enough people no, were, during it. the week. People that's were not right. free. There were it yeah. wasn't the big retirement place oh, no, where no, people no. were looking for things to do yeah. like they yeah, are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rainy days and such. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a that's something new. A thought. Yeah, new thought. it's a lot yeah. of things that. Yeah. Uh, uh, another thing is liquor stores. Oh yes. <laughs> they were only here one day. Now it's almost every every other corner. <laughs> Well, yeah. see, that's a population change. Yes, a population change. Yes, yeah. as time yeah. passes. And so it is amazing, really, how, you know, just natural events have their own flow and take their own uh, drift with them, and um, things shift and alter. And not that you're noticing or paying attention. It's only when you look back that you oh, realize yeah. that there's yeah. this big yeah. change. But that's evolution of its own yeah. of its own sort, and, and, and I think it's healthy to look back, yeah, and and bring it into the present, the present and realize to say, don't complain. Yeah, <laughs> don't complain. You're don't right. complain. Yeah, things are pretty good. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Well, things are wonderful for having you oh, here thank today. You. Thank and you. Amazing things we we hear about, and it's interesting to me. I'll tell you that. Some things that our people are telling us in this program are very much the same, like the butter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the butter stories yeah. are, everyone knows oh, the butter yeah. story. And other things like the weekend movies and that it was terrible when you yeah, first came yeah. and now, you know, you can't get the it same. It's loneliness. You yes, know, yes. It very, uh, I, there's some isolation yeah, here yeah. and it's still there for some yeah. older people too. Well, thank you, Aura. We'll have to talk some more some other day about okay. everything else that we can okay. think of. Okay. I'll be thank happy you. to. Do that. Thank you. That's Aura Cashin who was speaking with us today about uh, memories of times past and post-war in, in Harwich. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank we got you. it right on.